In the bustling heart of a modern city, there lived a man named Daniel. He was an intelligent and capable man, yet his days were filled with constant worries and anxieties. His mind was a never-ending stream of problems, both real and imagined. No matter how successful he became in his career or how comfortable his life appeared to others, he could never find a moment of true bliss or happiness. One day, as Daniel was sitting in a park, hunched over with the weight of his thoughts, an elderly man appeared before him. He was dressed in simple robes, and his eyes twinkled with wisdom. Daniel had seen him around the park before but never paid much attention. The elderly man introduced himself as Master Hiroshi, a Zen teacher who had spent a lifetime mastering the art of living in the present moment. Master Hiroshi looked at Daniel with compassion, recognizing the burden of unnecessary worry in his eyes. You seem troubled, my friend, he said to Daniel. Daniel, startled by the unexpected encounter, nodded. I am. My mind is always racing, filled with problems and concerns. I can't remember the last time I felt truly happy. Master Hiroshi gestured for Daniel to sit beside him on a nearby bench. He began to speak in a gentle, calming tone. Let me help you navigate through your problems. Remember, your problems stem from overthinking, always remaining in the past and unnecessarily worrying about the future. You must calm down and live this beautiful life of yours without worry. First lesson that you must keep in mind is. Mindfulness, your mind is like a turbulent river, always rushing and never finding peace, said Master Hiroshi. You worry about tomorrow, dwell on yesterday, and rarely experience today. But the present moment is where happiness resides. Learn to observe your thoughts without judgment. Just as you watch the clouds pass in the sky, observe your thoughts. They come and go, but you remain. The second lesson is gratitude, Master Hiroshi advised Daniel to start and end each day by acknowledging the things he was grateful for. By focusing on the blessings in his life, he would shift his perspective from what he lacked to what he had. Gratitude, he explained, is the gateway to contentment. Lesson 3 is Meditation, the Zen master introduced Daniel to meditation. Through meditation, he could calm the chaos of his mind and learn to focus on the present moment. Breathe deeply, and with each breath, let go of your worries. The past and future do not exist in this moment. Lesson 4, Acceptance, Master Hiroshi taught Daniel the power of acceptance. Sometimes, we cannot change our circumstances, but we can change how we react to them. Acceptance is not resignation but a source of strength. Embrace what you cannot control, and find peace within. And the last lesson is, letting go of control, many worries stem from the illusion of control, said Master Hiroshi. We cannot control everything in life. Learn to let go of the need to control every outcome. Embrace uncertainty and trust that the path will unfold as it should. Over time, Daniel embraced these teachings and began practicing them diligently. He journaled his gratitude each day, meditated in the serene park, observed his thoughts without letting them control him, and learned to accept life's uncertainties. As the weeks turned into months, Daniel noticed a transformation within himself. The constant whirlwind of worry began to subside, and he found moments of true happiness in the simplest of things, the warmth of the sun, the laughter of children, the rustling leaves. His mind, once a turbulent river, became a tranquil lake. One day, as Daniel was sitting in the park, he noticed Master Hiroshi was nowhere to be found. He realized that the Zen master had come into his life like a passing breeze, leaving behind profound wisdom. Daniel continued to practice the teachings of Master Hiroshi, not only for his own well-being but also to share these invaluable lessons with others who, like him, were lost in the labyrinth of their own thoughts. He discovered that in mastering the art of controlling his thoughts and living in the present moment, he had found the true path to happiness and contentment.